Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going down? What's going down? Who's that guy? My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. Oh, it's going to be on today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time to click on the video. Today we got a little bit of a special one. I've got a special guest here with me today, Jeff Dix from Limestone Lures. And we're going to be going out in that. We've got Jeff's low fishing boat here. And this is going to be my first trip actually out in his boat. So it's going to be a little bit different than the kayak up um, footage that you usually see. But hopefully... We're going to be able to get onto a really good top water bite today. The lake is just crystal smooth and clear. Nice mist coming up. Little bit of ripples in the open areas. And because of this warm front that's pushed in, a lot of these bass have pushed back up into the shallow areas of this particular body of water. So the top water opportunities are going to be really, really good. There's also some deep channels and stuff like that that we can fish later on in the afternoon as the temperature rises. But, uh, Stick around, guys. Hopefully, we can be able to put a good bag together, and we will see you on the water. All right, guys. We are out on the water in my home pond. Jeff's dropping the trolling motor down because he's afraid he's going to scratch up his boat. Yeah, look at all those stumps and stuff, man. I told you. I told you there were stumps. I know. I believed you. That's why I'm doing this. But this is beautiful. This is, this is the stuff we're looking for. Am I right? Good talk. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit focused right now, bud. <laughs> trying to keep from beaching my boat on You're not going to beach your boat. So, gin clear conditions, really crystal smooth. We're going to be moving up towards uh, the large weed bed uh, that I mentioned in my other video that I call the Field of Dreams. We're going to push our way up into there and just start throwing top water as soon as we get over there. Jesus Christ, what are we catching? Manatees? What the hell's with the... What the hell is this? Oh, you bugger. There we go. It's starting. That was a good hit. Wonder what they do if I give them a big target. Yeah, but I'm talking a really big target. I mean, isn't that the goal? You know what? I'm going to try it. I tied on one of the stupidest baits I own just for this trip. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna pitch her into the field of dreams. You ready? <clears throat> I love it. It's because I always get fish here. <laughs> it was in the fall, yeah. Hey Jeff, why throw a spook? When you can throw a spook! Look at the size of that! Like six or seven that is a six and a half inch, six cents catwalk magnum. And that is in the heater shad color. We're throwing this on a 610 heavy fast. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Do some damage. Yep. Well, I can cast it back to my house.
This thing's ridiculous. I love it. It's stuff like this I like throwing though because if you do catch a fish on it, it's so it, it it's it's just like I threw the biggest dumbest friggin thing I could into the lake, and I came back with something. Look at the walking action on it though. It walks really good. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh yeah. That's a good bass. Oh, it's a pike. Oh okay. It's a small pike then. It's a small pike. Jesus. <laughs> But he got it. Yeah, he did. Look, he throttled it too. Whoa. Boat flips. Boat flips only. Yeah. Pike for days, son. There we go. Skunk out of the boat, baby. Yeah, he took it right down the throat, didn't he? <laughs> I'm not going to get you. <laughs> yeah, he waked on that good. Let me see, buddy. Look at this little hammer here. A little Peter Dinklage. A little Peter Dinklage. He just like went right and vanished, right? Head first into the weed. Yep. That is nuts. He just like disappeared. Like they just hide out. They're just they're all hiding under here. Like they're literally in the weeds. You know. Yep. It does. There you go, guys. Limestone lures versatility at its best. No, it's a jerk bait. It's jerk bait, paddle tail, Ned bait. Is there anything the rib kicker cannot do? Rib kicker, the potato of the bait world. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you present it, it's still delicious. Well, I got Steve at uh, at Kicker to make micro chatterbaits. One one eighth ounce. Oh man, I was supposed to go up there and get some of his hover rigs. Hover rigs. Look at that little bugger go! Look at it go! Yeah. 
Kicker Custom Lures, guys, if you're looking for terminal tackle or anything like that, stuff to pair up with your limestone lures, you can't go wrong with a kicker, guys. Great prices, incredible, incredible quality, and custom colors per order. So get on it. Visit Kicker Custom Lures on Facebook and send Steve a message, and uh, he can show you his product lineup. And tell him Jeff Dick said it. <laughs> Actually, if you use the code Crooked Hooks, you'll actually save 10% on your entire order with Kicker Custom Lures. Use the code Crooked Hooks, but tell them Jeff said it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing the bow. I feel special now. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, she's warm. Oh, sorry, bud. It's all good. Do I need, need me to move? There we go. There we go. Bull flips for these. <sighs> nice. All right. So the four inch wheel swim bait, keel weighted hook. Just a little guy. But, whoa, look at that. Gonna hook myself in the face. Nice. There we go. Let's catch that on. A four inch whale. Just a little guy. But you know what? He slurped it. Right on. I got the skunk out of the boat for myself. Come on. There we go. Oh, little Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Another one on the whale? Another one on the whale. Is that six cents? That is a six cents. Nice. I reserve my rippers for the my little rippers for trailers because they have a better kick. They have a really good reaction kick. Better reserve because I'll make the little one. Yeah, I know. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big. That's a big. Oh, that's a big. I like. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, yeah, that's a big. Come here, buddy. Feel the net? That is a big boy. Ow! That's what I'm talking about, son. Nice. Look at that. Of course, my camera overheated. Well, that's why I got this one. I got you. <laughs> Talk to this one. I'll send it to you. Just threw into the shade, into the shallows. True yeah, North baits. <laughs> Paddle tail. Look at that. Nice. Probably three and a half. Maybe pushing four. 
big old gullet on her. Love it. I knew they were around here somewhere. I'm gonna let this guy go. Off he goes. Yeah, boy. Right there. Right there. So the the video that I was the fight that you just saw was my camera died right as I was about to bring him out of the water. Luckily Jeff has it on his phone. So hopefully he can get that over to me. I haven't updated. Oh. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Get in there. Get him up there. Get him up there. Oh shit, he's not hung up, is he? Bow flips only. Yes, sir. And it's a decent one too, man. Choke this thing. Holy yeah, he 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 kind of put that in. Uh... Look at that. That's a triple threat. Look at that. It's like right down there. Yeah. That's a triple threat grub. Maybe that's a ticket. Is that the triple threat? Yeah. Nice, ticket. sir. Nicely done. Out a boy. Jeff got to get his stock footage. Very nice, brother. Your bass, bass skunk out of the boat. Right on, man. Good job. Wasn't recording. Totally not recording, but hey, guys, look at that. Little dinky pike on the paddle toad. Right here. Just a little Peter Dinklage. Oh my God, did I ever get him. It went through his lip on the underside and then through his lip on the outside. Oh, man. I got him though. Off you go, little man. That was sick. That was a fun little bite. A little paddle toad. He chased it hard. Oh, he was aggressive. I wish I'd got the chase on camera. I don't know if he was the same fish that hit it the first time though. He was. I, I watched him follow it all the way from the shallow. Just, just like snaking through the water. Oh, you little jerk. Of course. Okay, I got you on this one. We're going to have to share all of our footage. Yeah. <laughs> Come on out of there. Listen here, Jack Wagon. Come on, get that one out. There we go. Ah. Oh, nice little guy. Little head. Off you go, buddy. And you slimed me all up. Ah. Yeah. It's all right. Third cast with a lipless, though. And that was deeper water. I was casting it out. I'm just working it like a jerk bait because it's a suspending uh, lipless. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I can I can reel it down and then I can just leave it there, right? Not a huge one, but a fighter. Another nice one on the paddle toad. Nice. Just a little guy. He was hiding right up in that little goblin hole, right on the rocks. And I threw it as soon as it hit the as soon as it hit the water. He had it in his mouth. Huh. That was a fun little fish. That was a fun little fish. Yeah. Well, guys, we think we're going to call it a day. We're both sweating buckets. It's hot. It's very hot. And, uh, you know, the bite turned off. The pike turned down. We had a decent window this morning. We got a couple nice ones, a couple, couple few pike, a couple nice little fighters, and that one big one that we had this afternoon. And you know what? Any fish... Any fish is better than no fish. And five five fish makes a video. That's the rule. And we got five. So oh, we got more than that. We got more than that. Yeah, that's right. You got like four sunfish, didn't you? I did. That's true. <laughs> hey, they count. That's a sandwich. So 
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the live fishing content and you want to see more of it, go ahead, please leave a like and a subscribe on the video if you so could. We are very, very close to hitting 125 subscribers. And uh, me and Jeff here are working on uh, a little something for the 100 subscriber uh, special that I'll be having uh, coming up soon. It's a bit of a surprise though, right? Just who says so. It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. Something's coming for you guys though to say thank you. But on behalf of myself, and of course Mr. Jeff Dix, my brother from another, couldn't have spent a better Sunday morning. Just want to say, take care. We'll see you in the next one. And keep your head above the water. Bye.